Hey YouTube, it's Christy and Nolan here. And we're kind of going to do his 8 month update, but more than that, just kind of discuss. He's had like a terrible, like I think allergic reaction since we've kind of started solids and kind of giving him table foods here and there. Um, he has just started breaking out in hives and a rash all over his face. It happens just randomly after he eats, you know, certain things. Like the first time was I dipped my finger, I had just baked chocolate chip cookies. I dipped my finger in the chocolate and he broke out in hives really quickly after that. Um, the second time he had a teeny bit of banana Greek yogurt. The third time I we ate at a Japanese steakhouse and one of those places where they cook the food in front of you. He had um, a few pieces of fried rice and broke out in hives. I had to stop my meal, run down to, um, there's a grocery store really close. Walk down to that grocery store with him, get Benadryl and give it to him immediately. Um, he's never had any trouble breathing, but it seems like they're just getting worse each time and not getting as, getting better as quickly after Benadryl. Um, I've called his doctor and she just keeps telling me to record it and not worry about it. No big deal since he's having no trouble breathing and stuff like that, but I just don't feel comfortable with it. It's, it's really annoying. Um, today he broke out in hives all over his face and some on his body and his, um, on his chest and his stomach, his chest and his back, and um, that was just after breastfeeding. So um, I have no idea what it is. I just don't know. Um, I just feel terrible for him because every time it happens, he just gets you in now because he's still got hives right now. Just rubs his face all over me, rubs his face with his hands, his ears. Um, you know, the hives are behind his ears, in his ears. It's just terrible. I just don't know what to do and the doctor just doesn't think apparently that we need to see anybody for it or try to really figure out what it is. My best guess is possibly egg. Um, so I'm going to start trying to avoid that myself and of course not give him any. I never purposely give him egg. Um, you know, I want to avoid that till he's a year, but you know, like the chocolate chip cookie, maybe some of the batter. I mean, it was a cooked cookie, but maybe some of the I don't know, the batter from it got on the chocolate part that I gave him. The fried rice has egg in it. I don't think there's egg in yogurt. Um, and I had just eaten some eggs and potatoes this morning, so that's the only thing I can think of. It's just so, you know, frustrating because I don't know what it is exactly and the doctor doesn't seem to want to do anything. And he's just so uncomfortable because of it. It just breaks my heart to see him so miserable and you know the Benadryl it, it does make it better but it seems to be taking longer now and you know the hives seem to be progressively getting worse and you know I'm just worried that the next time he's gonna stop breathing or his his throat's gonna swell or his lips are gonna swell or his tongue and he'll stop breathing um, you know and I've asked her if I could get an EpiPen and she said no since he's never had any trouble before he doesn't need one which to me, you know, it can go from hives to not breathing the next time. I mean, you just, you don't know if it's a true food allergy. He can have no problem one time and major trouble the next. So I just would rather have one to be safe. Um, I used to get allergy injections, so I have an expired adult EpiPen that I'm going to start carrying because I'd rather have that than nothing. Um, not ideal but you know if he's not breathing I'd rather try that than nothing he's, he's asleep now but other than that he's crawling everywhere getting into everything you know mostly happy kid now loves to be carried doesn't matter what carrier he's in really he just absolutely loves to be carried we actually just I won this ergo through um, a contest through like Facebook not through Ergo, but through another company, and he, this one seems to be his favorite so far. We've only had it for, you know, maybe a week, but it's, it seems to be his favorite one. And he falls asleep pretty easily in this one, especially after having Benadryl. 
which seems to be, you know, what we're having to give him all the time, which absolutely sucks. I hate having to give him tons of medicine anyways, but I don't know, I'm just, you know, and then he's so, so, so fussy and so, so, so grumpy when this happens, and you know, it happens multiple times a day sometimes, and you know, my mom has camo right now, but it is exhausting trying to deal with him when he is flailing around because he's uncomfortable and, you know, trying to itch his face and it's just, it's a nightmare. I just feel like I can't win with the doctor. I can't win with anything. I've just been getting kind of overwhelmed with it the past few days. My husband works so many hours. He just works a ton, so he's not here very often. He works from usually like 10 to 8 and maybe gets one day off a week. So, it's, it's exhausting. But we're, other than that, doing good. I have an update to do on camo too, but I don't know when I'll get to it, to be honest. Or I might do it without him in it. Because he just goes for the camera anytime I try to do the update. But, I have um, a review giveaway week scheduled for starting next week, Monday, but honestly, I don't know if I'll be able to get to it. I feel so bad because I want to do it. It's all about cloth diapers and stuff, but I've only had the time to record a couple videos, and, you know, I try to do a lot of research and m include a lot of information in my videos, um, so sometimes it's kind of hard to do that with two extremely grumpy kids. <laughs> Because Camo's just going through terrible twos, and Nolan's just grumpy because he doesn't feel good with, you know, the hives and everything. I just, I just feel so bad for him. Camo never had any trouble with food, which, you know, that doesn't mean anything, but... It's just the saddest thing, seeing him so, you know, upset. It's just like he just flails and you know, cries, and it's just so uncomfortable with it. But hopefully we can figure out something, and, you know, our allergist around here, you know, I can't just call them and be like, hey, I want to see you. It has to be a referral. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, she's out of the office today. I called her again today to say, can we do something? I mean, what do you want me to do? But they're going to call me back tomorrow, supposedly. And I, I love our doctor. Otherwise, I just, I don't know. Just really sad about this whole situation. But other than that, he's crawling everywhere. He's pulling himself up on things. Sorry, my nose is running because I'm, like, tearing up here. Um, but, yeah, he's good. We're good. Um. I'll do my best update on camo here soon, too, but it might be a few days. He's just passed out and snoring right now. But I guess I'll talk to you guys later. A really long, kind of drawn-out update, but talk to you guys later.